I received Flo's diagnosis at work in my car. I think my first question was, like, what, are, what are we talking about here in terms of her life? What do you think, Flo? You know, people say it, it's so cliche, like, but honestly, Flo being born was the best day of my life. Yeah, it really was. I mean, everything was perfect. She was born July 11th, 2020, uh, 7-11, so it's easy for me to remember as a dad. It's a dramatic day, but everything went perfectly. And we were so happy, you know, to see her and to meet her, and she was doing so great. Around, you know, eight, nine, ten months, I started noticing she wasn't doing certain things she was supposed to do. Um, and she wasn't sitting up at her nine-month checkup. We were suggested to see a neurologist to maybe just check things out. No one was super alarmed at that point. That's what led us getting genetic testing, which is a whole long path. When we got our diagnosis, you know, we're talking about the world of kind of the ultra rare. They delivered the news, but it was their first time ever giving the diagnosis to someone. So they really didn't know. They emailed us a packet of information. I, I was totally caught off guard. None of Florence's doctors had at all heard of STX-BP1. The disease wasn't given a proper name. It is named after the protein that has failed. What are, what are we talking about here? Is she going to live independently? And they responded and just said, no one ever has. It's like everything, everything you have to teach them. You know, everything takes lots of time, lots of energy. And then some of these tasks, you're lucky if they learn how to do it. All right, here we go. Ready, set, push. 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 <laughs> you got to use one hand at a time. Push. Really, the goal push. is to get as much therapies Push. and support as possible. Oh, come on, step, step. Flo. Yes. Good girl. Okay, Flo, again. Step. Come on, step, step. baby. Yeah. yeah. Good steps, Flo. Step. You know, she's in physical step. therapy twice a week, speech therapy twice a week, occupational therapy twice a week. Would work on everything from using both her hands at the same time, to crawling, to her how she uses her teeth and her jaw and her mouth. When we spend an hour a day standing in front of a mirror so she gets the proper joint compression that a normal two-year-old would already be standing. Push, push, yay! Step, 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 clap. Clap your hands, clap your hands. You see her make growth and you celebrate every small thing that they do. You get so excited when they do something new because you work so hard for it. She works so hard. Oh, ho, ho, girly. And she gets excited too, you know, when she does these things. She gets so happy. You can see when it, it finally clicks and she starts doing it. It's, it's so exciting for everyone. <laughs> you can do it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. On Rare Disease Day 2022, Sam and I announced to the world that Florence has STX-BP1. We did that as a way to also announce Flourish, which is our fundraising endeavor that will hopefully contribute to research and also to someday cure this thing. And it really just takes more support. It really takes more people from the community knowing and caring and stepping up and doing what they can because we're so close.
but we just need to keep pushing.